What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? Guys, season finale of season two of Westworld. What? 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 Man. It's crazy. It's good stuff. This was... This show... Real crazy. Here's the thing. This show kept us pretty pretty much up to date, right? We didn't really have too many problems figuring out what was going on. We had our theories, this and that. No. This episode, they were like, nope. <laughs> now, that's not to say it can't be deciphered. Yes, this video is a little bit, you know, a few days after the finale, which is which we kind of like to do because we like to, you know, figure it out ourselves. There's a lot of things that pop up on the web. We, Mike and I read some articles. We, you know, we try and, can, you know, reconcile everything we've heard into, into some, you know, uh, concise thoughts as possible so well we're, we're gonna try we're gonna try right exactly um, <laughs> this shit is confusing as hell <laughs> yeah so i mean i think maybe real quick let's just talk about that opening scene and lead right into bernard and, and dolores so that opening scene yeah. is dolores is the dolores creating bernard yeah that first time yeah. because she recreates him at the end of the, the episode but that was so what Ford did, and he told us previously, is that he let Dolores create Bernard from Arnold because she spent so much time with Arnold. Yeah. And she's the one that created Bernard. Now we know she literally programmed Bernard. That yeah. was what she did. She was she was she was making all those iterations that we saw that they found a couple episodes back, that Hale found a couple episodes back, were all the iterations that Dolores had gone through before she she made this. But then she also says throughout the episode, I made you better. Like I made you in a way I wanted to make you. Not 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 just exactly like Arnold, but also other things. So yeah. pretty pretty crazy. And then in turn, you know, when they get to the forge, um, you know, they're going back and forth and, and she wants to destroy everything. Yeah. She, you know, so I, and she says, "Take take a little romp with me. C come with me for a little romp inside the inside the forge. Let's get into the system." And that was fun. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, listen, she was ready to go down. It's just vengeance is is just flowing through Dolores like crazy. She doesn't care about this um, this sublime this you know which was the world that Ford had created for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and well, um, she was ready. Her. But yeah, exactly, and. Uh, Listen, she's just all about getting out there and destroying like humankind. humanity. Yeah, she, she, there's, there's nothing about this world or these, um, I forgot exactly what she says, like, but these, like, these fake worlds that, um, that they're creating for us isn't, she just, she wasn't going along with any of that. Well, stuff. the prison, and she didn't believe in, she didn't believe in the sublime. So the sublime yeah. guys is that doorway that get, that Bernard opens up for them. Uh, that's what the producers call it. So I guess we'll yeah. just call it here. They might have it looked it fucking. It looked awesome. It was right? so great. I I really yeah. enjoyed that concept. She goes in. They go in there to look for something, though. Remember, they went in there to look to see what was happening or whatever. I forget what the exact reason why they were going in there, but because there's so much crap that went on. But yeah. you know, I just love the way that the system looked. So the two things that I love about the system was one that the system took the form of Logan. And they it, and explains all of what happened, how they made Delos, how they attempted to cre recreate Delos's, and they did. Mm -hmm. They recreated Delos's um, brain. However, and 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 there's a lot of philosophical stuff in there, Mike, that I don't think we're going to get into here. But the simple fact that they boiled humans down to like one or two things, yeah. and and he kept going back to that last time he saw his son alive, and that. He's there like, no matter what we did, any iteration, this is where it ended up. He goes, so so the computer's like, well, this is why I decided to take this form, number one. Number two, you know, this is what we decided what was that. But however, still couldn't last outside. In yeah. the system, it ran perfectly, but the but that AI. And the other thing I really liked is when they went into that library, that all... So the Forge, as we know, is all the human guests' data. I think they said four million souls. Right. That's what Strand had said. Not the um, host data. The host data was the cradle. Yeah. The forge is the human data. Yeah. And they're all books, which is cool. What do you think about how she learned what she needed to learn about the humans through reading a few of those books? Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting that she seemed like she had enough information only being in there for such a short which time. she that, obviously didn't. Yeah. But... It was enough to change her mind after, uh, you know, Bernard kills her and then brings her back as uh, as Hale. 
Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I mean, look, it was. I mean, I it was hard to follow a bit, but it, it was a, it was a little rough. I mean, up until the the last maybe fifteen minutes or so, when we started getting all that flashback stuff with Bernard and everything, it seemed relatively easy to follow with the forge, and we understand what you know what was the plan with with making the this this sublime and getting the hosts to um to act in their in their own free will yeah and all that kind of stuff tends to be easy to understand but then when we started getting into everything past logan was a little difficult too you know what i mean yeah that was a little rough and basically that's when all the hell stuff happened and yeah hell kills elsie that was sick that (laughs) woman that woman became real sadistic real quick Mm -hmm. oh by the way i just have to shout out to that doctor getting killed that was awesome the oh doctor my that was god working right on Maeve. he takes yeah. off he took he put on her 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 sensors right yeah we're gonna take a little shortcut to Maeve real quick we'll get back there in a second but he puts her he puts her her pain sensors up so she feels what he's gonna do to her that is just sadistic man. yeah pain is pleasure he says right and and then so she calls the other she wakes the host up around her why didn't she do that previously was she in a, was she in a euphoric state that she just didn't think of it or something? Uh, Having maybe, all those sensors turned down and maybe she wasn't in her. It's probably something like that because it's as soon as he turns it up, that's when she has control of them. So I don't. Yeah, it was a little. That was a little wonky for me. But either way, they killed. It was a dude. badass scene when she busts out and, the, and and we see Hector and we see the the snake and and all those kind of things and uh, the bulls leading the way and taking what out a, the Delos. That was uh, cool. And she she, she looked and badass stuff. in the cloak. And yeah. Like, so Maeve, Maeve is she's back, baby, and then she yeah. ends up dying, which really sucks. But we'll get back to 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 that in, in just a moment. I want to go back to. Sorry for the tangent, guys. It's just look. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. But again, just just going back to Bernard and Hale and Dolores. So I don't know, man. She just she changes her mind and decides to, because she was gonna she was gonna kill all the like all the hosts too. Like she was gonna she was gonna erase that place too. Yeah, she didn't think that they deserved it. Because, not that not that they didn't deserve it. She thought it was another prison. Comes well, he realize, says he says that if 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 you flood everything and you take out all the um, all the the information in the forge, you'll destroy. It's like a failsafe. Yeah, you know. So that sublime place is it's beautiful, man. I loved it. I loved the concept. I loved the fact that the argument there was, she says, but you're putting them in a place where it's not real for them. And he's like, well, this isn't real either. What's the difference? At least it's there they can choice. They can said. right. It's not only yeah. is it their choice, they can be whoever they want to be. They can be yeah. whatever they want to be. Yeah. And I thought it was beautiful. I I, I really enjoyed that concept and the, and it, seeing all that, the fact that that was that was such a, an intense scene mm-hmm. when um uh what what's what, her name Clementine. Thank you. Yeah. Her draw yeah. her riding up. And mm-hmm. and in the wake of her of the virus she's putting out, like just absolutely like and then and then he takes her out, the snake takes her out. Like just like damn it, so good. Yeah. And Akcheta makes it out or in, I guess. He gets shot right in the back shot and then the when back he makes and he's it like, through yeah. and he's feeling his he's feeling his back for but, the, you know, the bullet, but he finds and he finds his long lost love. That was beautiful. Like that mm-hmm. made me a little choked up because it was just yeah. She, Maeve's daughter makes it, and, and I think at that moment she realized who she was. Like I think she gave, I feel like she transmitted the memories of Maeve and her daughter to the daughter at at that last moment because the daughter, they showed all that again, and the daughter she was looked, like, she definitely looked like upset that she wasn't coming with yeah, her. Yeah, you, know? you know, I don't know if it's that or if it's just the fact that because remember she used that line like your heart, my heart, or whatever that right, is. Right, she used that she, that's line. the same line that she that she you know. Um, said to her in yeah. her original narrative with with the with the, with her daughter. So I don't know if it's more just that and just like symbolic of of that line or if it's the daughter actually understood at that moment, wow, yeah. that that was my or remembered, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's just my question for you is now like where is this place? Okay, so what happened was they were going to offload that they were the, the Bernard's slash Ford's plan was that they were going to offload that to a place that that, that to another place, right? Yeah. But then Haloris, <laughs> Hale and, you know, the, the Hale Dolores model decided 
she like I, I said before, she decided to change. She changed her mind. She says, you know what? Yeah. I am going to take. I'm. I am not going to destroy that. What I'm going to do is she. First of all, she adds Teddy, so Teddy yeah. ends up in that place, which is great. Um, and then she says, "I'm going to put, transmit it someplace where no one can ever find it, so the humans will yeah. never find it." Now, but that's, the weird thing is, it's it's that even the ho even though the hosts are, you know, they're not real, they're not human, they're still real to our world. It's a well, so that's just the, thing. the brain went to like this matrix kind of. Basically, World, yes. Right. But now let me but let me ask you this though. Here's a and he and not to get too too philosophical or enigmatic, but if right. if if they're playing with Delos's mind, if if they if they were if they were able to pull out even Ford, Ford put his mind, his data into the computer. The, obviously the, the the computer systems were at the point in that future where they, they can handle the human mind in its fullest form without the body. That's all we are, Mike. This yeah. all this is is the machine. This is, is a host it body. Is, it is all very it is. much like that's all we are, right? In, yeah, like we're technically hosts if you want to exactly. believe in that faith. And, so what the hell's the difference? Other than we yeah. weren't but we but the, the whole point of the system It is very re- like faith system, and religion in that kind of way. Right, but 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 we're programmed. That's yeah. he says the system said to them w- the humans are more programmed than the hosts are. Mm-hmm. Case in mm-hmm. point kept going back to this one point kept everything hinged on this one point that's where yeah, everything wow. led so my question to you to to answer your question is it, like you said if that's the case then what makes us any different we're yeah. not those are yeah. souls those are mm-hmm. all the, excuse me those are all those are the host souls they're and like the digital souls, digital souls yeah i mean that's will. when i'm mean, born they're not born from earth you know, and fr- like you know, like a human. They're not born you know? from actual bl- flesh, blood, and bone, but yeah, they exactly. are born from a, a a different type. Yeah. And um, I don't know. She put it away, and it's it's away now. Now we're obviously yes, going to see. They more. moved it, so no one. Well, see, that's that, that's another good another good question to pose: is will we see that? Listen, we were talking about this before we started recording. There there wasn't too many hosts that seemed to make it. I mean, we didn't see um Achata's. I think her name was Kona. We didn't necessarily see her Kohana, run in, but or Kohana or whatever. Yeah, we didn't necessarily see her run in, but then she was there. So there could we could be off a little bit, but it still didn't seem like there was so many no, you're hosts right. that made it. No, and um, then especially since all the ones that died. But let me. But what about all could, the other hosts from the other parks? Where the hell are all they? That's my question. Why would they not? They were not even talk. Westworld is not the only park. Yeah. Were they with a? I mean, no, the very, parks were very, emptied very out. True. They were on islands, right, or something. Where's the, where's the Shogun world? Where the hell are all they? Did did yeah. wait? Maybe breaches opened up in all of those worlds. That had to have happened. It's a possibility. I think it's that definitely had, a possibility. that's got to be the answer, man. Because mm-hmm. if it opened up in Westworld, of course it's going to open up because the system did it. It the system. It was already. Bi- it's not going to just do Westworld. It's going to do all the worlds. It would have been cool when we had that long shot of it, of of it forming. Yeah. It would have been cool if we would have saw a few pillars like in a far shot. Yeah, and yeah, you could yeah, throw, I, yeah. You know, and gave you that idea. Give us the idea. Let's of, see, I mean, let's yeah. see if we, you know, would it be a bittersweet ending for, for Teddy's character if we never see him again, if he's legitimately off the show, if we never see Akchada I, and all this kind of stuff? That would be a nice way for them to go out. It's I don't in that, think... It's in that peace thing. I think it's, we may not see them next season. That's I what I'm, think I'm thinking too. I'm thinking that we might not get anything to do with that the the um, sublime that opened up. I, I really do. Which would I be think nice. It's gonna be, Which would yeah, be nice yeah. because like think I about said, it. It's, it's going to push it. Like yeah, it's good. Thing. Right. Sorry. Yeah, it's going to push. That could be season four. You know what I'm saying? Like this season. So so go, so where it ends is, you know they, uh, te- uh Bernard and so Hale makes it off the island. Yeah. Um, Stubbs. Logan Logan says that too. Uh, to cut back quick, Logan's the one that says she's probably going to be the one that would be able to make it in the real world. Dolores, right? Yeah. And obviously, so she gets out. Stubbs knew. I'm telling you. So my here's my quick theory on Stubbs. He is a yeah. human. He worked with Ford enough to know what the host saw. He he's worked so closely with the host that he knows. That it's a ho- he knew that that was a host. Does he know it was Dolores? Probably not. I don't think there's any way to know that. However, I do think he believed that that was a host. 
He knew that was a host. Oh, definitely. So definitely. Is I'm he still, a host? I'm still, I'm still debating. Yeah, exactly. I don't I'm still know. Debating if he I is. don't know because one thing, one line that caught me was he's like, when, you know, when Ford brought me on, like when he hired me, basically. But I don't know. It seemed, I don't know. I, I, I think it's a better um, story point, plot point, if he is a human, but he just has that connection. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have three new hosts in the so real world. So three hosts and... in the world. She goes back. And now, again, we had a little bit of debate off camera, and I don't think we have a resolution for this, so you guys can please tell us. <laughs> yeah. But Haloris makes a new body for Dolores, which was all set up and ready to go for them because that's what Ford... Ford basically planned this whole thing out. Yeah. Then she makes Bernard again, wakes him up. But Dolores is now in the new Dolores body, I think only because she likes to. Now, did she transfer her full consciousness to the new Dolores body? Or is it still in the Hale body? Because I obviously that Hale body was sit, hanging back. So the Hale host... May be its own host now. Maybe a new host. We don't. I, know. I would see that happening because they need Hale to be that head of Dolores kind of thing and have that inside Dolores, scoop. So it's probably a little bit you of Dolores. Think so I mean, I think that I think that Dolores is so, um, she's so just she she can only be the only one. I think. Imagine having two Dolores. In, Maybe. In, so I think that she is just she has so much about herself that. That I think the Hale host now, which prior was Dolores, is separate now. I think that they could have they could have switched out Hale to a newer version of Hale to control the Dolores stuff to you know to have that inside cog of yeah. of Delos. You know what what I mean? about how do you feel about this whole adversary thing? How do you feel about now instead of not only did Dolores make it to the real world? Mm -hmm. She created an adversary, essentially the good guy to her yeah. bad guy in the world. And now we're going to have this, this um, M. Night Shyamalan unbreakable situation with Mr. Mm -hmm. Glass and, and Bruce Willis, right? Yeah. So what do you think about that? Is that, are you into that? Is I mean, to me, I was like, oh, hold on. Hold on a minute now. It's just, she's making, she's really making, and they she basically said it. She's like, try and yeah. stop me. What, how yeah. do you, that, how's it make you feel, man? It's like that Batman and, and Joker, Joker yeah. kind of thing. Um, they can't be one without the other, basically, is what you I'm said. willing to, yeah, I, I'm really uh, into, it, it goes to show, like, again, what kind of person or what kind of Creature. mindset <laughs> yeah, Dolores has, that she doesn't want to make it easy for herself. That whatever she plans to do to destroy, um, who's the first target, you know, is... Will Bernard be there right away to to stop in any way? You know, how big will Dolores's um, plans plan or attack right. get to before Bernard decides, or is he right there from the from the beginning? What will Hale play in this? You know what I mean? What's going to be left of Delos? What's happening with all the hosts? We still saw Maeve, and we saw a bunch of the hosts, and we saw Hector, yeah, Felix, and we saw all these people. Felix and his buddy are going to save Maeve first of all. It's yeah. So I'm I still wondering happening. what's going to happen to the park. Um, where are they going to store these these the the hosts that because the one Delos um, scientist says to um, keep the ones that are that are salvageable. Yeah, keep the ones that are salvageable and all this and that. So now where are they going to keep them? Are they going to keep them in the park? Are they going to fix them there? Or what are they going to do with the park? And they're the going to come yeah, back. Yeah, I think I think the whole plan was to get it back up and running because it's a money maker. Like that's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. But um, um, there's going to be a lot to sort out, though, as 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 far as the the humans that were trapped this whole time during this, yeah. and were and Dolores found because Stubbs was the one uh, that Delos found. Stubbs was the one that went after. We still have a few humans that are left over here in this sector, and right. you know. So let's see what happens with that. I could imagine the lawsuits. I can imagine all this stuff. Delos is going to be under fire with um with what happened now in this park so it's going to be interesting to see how much is involved in season three i don't think i don't think they said the producer said season three is going to mainly focus in the outside world with the three hosts yeah um and which is gonna be fucking awesome yeah like, and they don't so cool. yeah they don't know whether or not mm -hmm. we're going to go you know we're going to talk about the man in black william in a second but yeah. They don't. They they're not sure whether how how much they're going to give us of that. However, I I maintain that 
The fact that, first of all, Evan Rachel Wood is amazing. She's amazing in that role of Dolores, and now she's Dolores again has come into who she wants to be. She's decided mm-hmm. to be a villain. And Bernard fantastically is just he he's just again thrown into Bernard is a character who doesn't think he can do it but manages to do it. He's that he's that unlikely hero. Yeah. You know, he manages to get through it. He's smart and I love it. I love it and I love this I I really do love this direction that they're going now and what it's going to be like in season 3. Yeah. Yeah, well his character came full circle. Um we got uh, we got a, a, technically we have like a new Bernard. We have a new Dolores. You know what I mean? It's everything is complete. Their story is technically now it's like a new beginning. Well, this is um, for this both, is for both of them. This is how everybody. This is how you take a show based on a silly movie. Yeah. Okay. From the seventies wow. <laughs> and make it. It was make, good. Make it apropos, <laughs> right? But but make yeah. it but take the concept and make it apropos to to what the hell to something now, which is amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing what. I love it. I absolutely love it. Jeffrey Wright, though, as um, Bernard is just they. Everybody is cast so damn good in this show. HBO for you, man. Just absolutely, like you just top notch. Like everyone mm-hmm. is so good. I'm gonna miss Teddy. I yeah. love James Marsden at, at the end of this, man. I loved it. I loved it. Did I, did I say his name right? James Marsden. Marsden. Mar- right? Mar- Mar- Marsden. Marsden. Um, I don't know, man. I oh, I loved it. It was so good. Let's get to it. I think I think we're at the point now we could talk about the ending ending. Yeah. If you stayed after the show, after the credits, obviously you've seen that there was a post credit scene like there was last year. Last year was the snake getting her hand uh, uh, ripped off or something, right? Um, this year is the man in black showing up at into in the forge. He's outside the forge. He gets hurt. We see him wake up. He enters the forge. Now, here's what got me. We see him enter the forge in the show. Yeah. And Bernard, and they made a point that when Bernard opened that door, there was nobody in it. Yeah. And I'm like, what? (laughs) All right. I guess we'll see what happens there. Find out. Come to find out that that must have been a different timeline. So Mm -hmm. it's the future. And the producers confirmed, yes, that is the far future. Everything is decimated. The Mm -hmm. world, perhaps, has been decimated. I'll say it again. The world, perhaps, the entire world may have been decimated. Meaning, Dolores may have succeeded in in her plan. Don't know. If you read these articles, the producers aren't obviously letting us know, but that was what was in these articles. Like, that's what these producers were saying. We don't know. We don't know. Now, the question remains. Mike, do you think that that William at the end was a host. I and think do it's... you think that that Emily was a host? Well, that's the weird thing because we had said, and we even corrected ourselves last week about um, the Grace Emily thing. Listen, and man, a... I can't. I, I honestly, I have no. If anybody knows what this Grace and Emily thing is, I don't remember when she was Grace. I don't. I do remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember when she was Emily. I do remember when she was Emily. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I'm thinking it's it's a play on when young William was having these interviews when they were trying to build uh, that perfect James Delos character to go back out into the real it's world. A and obviously situation. It didn't That's happen. what they're doing. I'm thinking that um, they're doing iterations of William. Now, listen, I'm not going to sit here and say and speculate who I think um, is the is if Emily is a host, if Grace is a host, and all this kind of stuff. But when when we first see Grace Emily um, by the Man in Black on horseback there and um, he was with um, Lawrence. He calls her Grace. When we saw the flashback stuff, he calls her Emily. So I'm thinking, is there is she a copy? Is the Grace the copy, the one that was killed in the park that 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 William gunned down wasn't really his daughter. That that was Grace. We never heard him specifically call her Emily in the park. So my kind of idea is, except for like what you said, you said that um, Dolores had called her Emily, but that could be, you know, something else. So I'm thinking that maybe Emily is the the real daughter of the Man in Black, and that's the one who was interviewing um, the Man in Black in that final scene 
Now, I'm not sure if he's a host or not. If if they were trying to build a new version of him, why would he still have the hand? Like, wouldn't they repair that kind of a thing? I mean, is that like, uh, you know what I mean? Here's I I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there because I'm gonna give you my theory. Yeah, and it's, and it's a little out there, perhaps. So bear with me, okay? Mm-hmm. The scenario we see at the end, yeah, is set up on purpose. And it was set up by William. And William and Emily, they, both there, are hosts. He William set up this scenario because he was taken back. Okay? He was taken he was they found him, remember? Yeah. They said we have one high priority guy. He's bad, he's in bad shape, but we'll get him back. Years later. Either he's he's dead now, but what he's done is put himself into the system to see if he would have done it a different way. They said he says, well, why? And they said to set not not set a baseline. What they say? What was the word they use? Dang it! But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were setting. Ah, I should have looked this up. I'm sorry, guys. If you remind me what they said, what she says to him at the end, what Emily says to William at the end. This is to set not they're not setting a baseline, but you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. It's not not a precedent, but it's it's to set that they're testing the data. I think it's William's test to see if he would have shot his daughter. I think shooting his daughter put him over the edge. And the producers said that everything that we saw this season with William happened. But what were we seeing? Were we seeing yeah. the initial time it happened, or were we seeing an iteration, which means, don't forget, this whole half this whole fucking thing is them testing, 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 testing. What would humans do? What would, <laughs> that was the whole point of the James yeah. Dello stuff. Mm-hmm. I think, again, to sum it up, I think William set this test up to put his mind through everything that went on in season two to see if it would end up the same, if he could have saved his daughter. Because why not? What else is he doing with his life? Even if he's dead at this point, even if real William died, he's let this thing run. He may have died without even having gotten his answer. But to someone, to in my head, someone like William would have had to known before he really did die, shed the mortal coil. Would I have not killed my daughter? That's yeah. my. That's now. That doesn't take into account that the world could be destroyed. Or at least that park is long gone and destroyed, obviously. You know what I mean? Or at least that portion of it, the, the forge. I don't I didn't take all that into account. I don't know about that. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're that's what we're gonna see. Now we don't know if we're gonna see this in third in the third season. They the producers were like, We don't know if this is what we're gonna see yet. They yeah. they're working on it. We may we're or may not, not even announced or anything. You know, the third season's not even announced or anything like that. But that's so my sure point. None so of that. We may yeah. not get this until season four or something, you know. Mm-hmm. Or we might get a little mm-hmm. bit or it might be another side it might be another side story in like it was this time. Either way, yeah. that's my that's my theory. That's what I think happened. That's what I think that ending means. I think we're going to see a lot of these kind of theories uh, coming out over the next however long um, until the until we finally get the answer, if we do get an answer at all. And we will. And we will. We're, we're, next season, we're going to get the answer as to who the hell model is, like who the hell host is. We're going yeah, to no, see that's who that stuff is. I'm talking we're going to get that all that. Final, yeah, that yeah final we're going to get all though. that. I don't um, think we're going to see the Sublime next season. I think yeah. I think they're going to save that. We might get little snippets maybe. But mm-hmm. I think we're going to see, uh, you know, it's mostly, you know, it's mostly going to be, they said, it's just going to be in the real world. So, yeah, I mean, look, 10 episodes, it's a perfect amount. It's, it's enough to get you going. It's enough, to, you know, 10 hours. It's, it's, it's. And no breaks. There's not a mid season thing or, a, nah, it's, you, know, you know, so if, just if, if you've enjoyed the show, obviously let us know. Obviously we're going to get a lot of comments. Just put them down there, man. Let's have this conversation. Let's. Listen, 2019 is when season three is supposed to come out. It's coming back 2019, if anything. So, Right down in there. Of course, a third person pod. Check us out at third person pod on Instagram and on Facebook. And have a listen to us. Have a watch of us, a view of us on iTunes as well. Yep. Guys, thank you so much for spending season two of Westworld with us. We really appreciate you guys supporting and hanging out. And um, if you're looking for content while you're waiting for Westworld, uh, please go ahead and check out our Into the Badlands stuff. We've got some, uh, th- that season has also ended if you haven't seen that show. And if you have, obviously you know that. Uh, we have some cool videos coming up in the interim break for that. 
And um, I also want to give a shout out to uh, RetroSquat.com. Uh, you can find this on, on YouTube. I haven't talked about it in a while, but um, it's my retro 80s show that I do. And uh, it's a fun show. And uh, Mike's going to be on it soon. We're going to get him on there. Yeah. We're putting th we're putting some new new content on there, some different content. We do a, a podcast show called The Classic Blend. And you can go check it out, RetroSquat.com, or just find us on YouTube also, and um, or at RetroSquat on all the socials. You can see what we're about. So thank you for that. Um, and that's it. Thank you for everything. And we will see you on the next video for Westworld.